Hey guys, so today I wanted to quickly go over um, the three new events that are being released for the six year anniversary. Um, well, it's kind of more like four events, but uh, so we have the Master Roshi's new challenge. Uh, this is the event where you can get the Roshi that awakens into an LR. Uh, for now, he's just a TUR. I believe the LR comes out during part two of the celebration and then his ECA probably, wait, he has, yeah, he does have an ECA. I think his ECA comes out probably during the uh, part three. So yeah, we as we, as we uh, can see here, uh, there's his silhouette for the LR. Really, really good character. You guys farm him up, get him rainbow, everything, SA20. He's really good. Um, he has, uh, he has like a spot for uh content uh for you know a, a lot of people might consider him uh the best free to play unit in the game um but then we also have uh this event the miracle of universe 7 this is where you can get the 18 and krillin the master roshi and tn uh as well as the new support memory so yeah uh these guys uh as ssrs they're really not that good but once they get uh, their awakenings and their ECAs, they become really good. The, uh, this 18 and Krillin, they're kind of okay at the beginning. Uh, from what I've seen for gameplay over the, uh, over at the JP version, they're okay, like, the first couple of turns, but, like, once you, uh, get them stacking and stuff, they become really good. They can hit really hard. Uh, and then this TN and Roshi, uh, they're also really good. Uh, they're a support unit for the Tournament of Power, uh, either the Tournament of Power Saga or the uh, representatives of Universe 7. So they're really good. Uh, so again, just farm these guys up. They're pretty good. Uh, and then for the third event, we have the Majin Buu Shape Up Training, which is just a uh, daily event where you can get skill orbs. So, I mean, nothing insane. It's just kind of like the, whatchamacallit, the, um, uh, let's see, uh, we can just run this. So yeah, it, it's kind of like that Universe 6 event, I believe, where, uh, there's that stage at the end where you fight Champa and Vados and you get their skill orbs. So again, nothing insane. Uh, just a little extra bonus, especially with all these uh, Universe 7 units coming out. This is a really good event to grind. Uh, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's available uh, once every day. So make sure to uh, get those runs in. Uh, I, I think the the other uh, event that's sort of like this one is the uh, Shadow Dragon Saga one. I believe where you fight either like Sin or Omega, okay, Silver. Um, and yeah, because uh, I think I have some equips on my AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, I believe, uh, for uh, from that event. What I what I personally like about this uh, sort of event, I I'm not 100% sure if this uh, same event has the same. Oh, okay, okay, the you want Goku. But if they have the same equipment, but let me just show you real quick. For the AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, I actually put a silver attack uh, equip. So it's a level 3 silver attack, which adds 600 attack to the unit. Which, like, to me, that's that's crazy. I, I, I think, honestly, this is probably either worth just as much as, like, a level 5 crit for silver or... Even better, honestly. I, I don't know. But, yeah. So, that was the Majin Buu um, event. The training event. Uh, let's just quickly run. Uh, let's do... We'll do this one. So, yeah. The Master Roshi event. Um, Bond the Master and Disciple. We'll, we'll just run you. Uh, yeah. We'll just dismantle this team. We'll, there you go. You, 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 and you. Just so we can get as much of the uh, percentage boost. Let's do this. So let's see. 
Okay, so this is from where um, Masaroshi and Goku, I believe, they go to visit uh, Tien. Yeah, I, I believe they, uh, in the anime, they go to visit him to recruit him. So, I guess this event is based off of that. Okay, okay, that's cool. But yeah, uh, if you guys don't know uh, about the Master Yoshi, he's pretty good. He has like a re pretty good defense. I, I believe uh, how he works is that he basically gets all his attack, uh, his attack boost on super attack on his 18 key. So w uh, once you like fire his 18 key, I think his attack. Uh, effect is like super attack effect is like 628% attack or some crazy stuff like that. I, I believe that it's worded like that maybe from the Mafuba. So maybe the Mafuba in Japanese has something to do with those numbers or something like that because uh, I believe that uh, whatchamacallit the Tag Roshi also has that same number as well as the well, uh, what's it? What's that other unit? The AGO Trunks and Mai. They also have that same percentage. Uh, don't quote me on it though. But I, I, I'm just kind of, uh, I'm just kind of trying to remember it well, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. How many stages is it? Three. Okay. But yeah, um, in that uh, Master Roshi unit, I believe he stuns or seals. He, He's just really good. Uh, if you guys saw my video from yesterday, uh, I was talking about how I saw some showcases where he was like shooting six plus million attack stats, and not even with like all his links active. I, I I'm pretty sure that this guy paired along that new TN and Roshi unit are like a really solid combo, which uh, makes sense because. Uh, that Tien and Roshi, I mean, they'll have a lot of the sem the same links since they're uh, pretty similar unit, and they also yeah, let's just do it with you. The the Master Roshi and, and Tien also support him with their three key forty percent attack and defense. So, yeah, the, this L R Roshi is pretty good. I, I I've seen I, again I've seen a lot of people say. That he might be the best free play unit in the game. I think I might agree, but also the LR first one free set is just really good. Uh, I think that that you that unit's only uh, drawback or downside is that you can't really run him in the uh, on a first slot turn because he gets basically all his de or most of his defense. Uh, from super attacking since he has that ability where like if he's on the first or second turn or uh, first or third slot I mean he gets like an extra 50% defense or something uh, but that also makes him a lot more valuable for the third slot since you can just like float him all the time and not have to worry about like Oh, is he gonna defend well? Because he, he probably will defend well, especially if you're fighting the super, uh, super class enemies. Uh, so he gets his 18 key. And I believe this Ella Roshi is also an Earthling. No, no, not an Earthling. He he leads a new category actually. The which oh, what's it called? The Turtle School. Yeah, Turtle School. He leads that new category. It's basically. Uh, I, I believe it's like all Masaroshi units, all Krillin units, and then all Goku. I, I think. I'm not 100% sure about it. Actually, let's see. That category is probably live already in the game. We can check it real quick after we wrap this up. But yeah, now we're just going to head into the other story event with the 18 and Krillin. In the Master Roshi and TN unit. But, um, let's see. Let's see real quick. We can probably just see from like any Goku unit. Sorry, my recording got cut off there for a second. So, uh, yeah, let's just do. 
I actually already did these events, but my recording messed up, so we'll just restart. It's okay. So, uh, I believe we were doing this event. Yeah. So, yeah, this is the event where we can get the 18 Krillin and the Master Ocean TM. So, yeah, the Turtle School uh category is live is basically all goku krillin master roshi some yamchas as well so yeah let's just jump right in so yeah my recording got messed up for for some reason so this event is basically it, these convos are really long but they're basically how goku went to recruit all the people before the tournament actually starts so i think this first stage is vegeta and gohan then the next stage is goku rec uh, recruiting piccolo i believe or not piccolo uh 18 and krillin i believe and then the one after that is actually where he recruits frieza so yeah i mean again these events they're nothing crazy they're not hard at all but these units are really good so make sure that you guys are farming them up i believe there's also some missions for them like oh get their super attack to level 10 or you know activate their hidden potential i'm not sure if that's one of the missions but we'll see we also have that new support memory i'm actually not sure what it does let's see i've definitely seen that being used before Bottom Master and Disciple attack and defense with two stun. Okay, that's not bad. I think that could be a solid uh, support item or uh, support memory for something like Bottom Master and Disciple SBR. I'm not sure if that's a, a thing now, right now, but you know, it might be in the future if it's not out right now. But uh, yeah, I believe. So I believe this stage is like telling the story of Krillin and 18 and their recruitment for the terminal power so let's see da -da -da, UI. man i'm so excited for the ui and uh evolution blue vegeta bonus i was uh scrolling on twitter the other day and saw someone that was saying like oh the the, the banners for the anniversary aren't good anymore which like I get why I get why they would say something like that, but that's just not true in my opinion. The the units, m most of the units in those banners are pretty good because obviously you know with these anniversary banners, there's obviously always going to be uh, some feature units that ju uh, just aren't that good, right? Okay, so uh, this part is the Tien and Roshi recruitment. But yeah, like as you guys know, a lot of the times there's uh, just units that are, are, are just not going to be that good, right? Because these anniversary banner units, uh, they their banners have just so many, uh, whatchamacallit, they have so many SSRs featured that like, you, you know, they, they can't always be all good, right? Because I, I think... For the Vegeta banner, hit is featured, so obviously that's like the bad, the bad one in that batch. And then I think there's also uh, an okay unit. The, the, like the Angel Golden Frieza, he's not that good. A lot of people underestimate the AGO Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, which I I get why he, he's he's also aged a bit. But I I. Either way, the banners are still really good, in my opinion. You have, like, uh, isn't it four LRs per banner? Because there's the UI Goku, the uh, Physical Buhan, Incel, and the Super Saiyan 4s? I'm actually not quite sure if that's all the four, but... Nonetheless, there's a lot of LRs on each banner, and here on, on the global version, we have the 3 plus 1, we have the discounts for the first, like, rotation, 
Plus, we have tickets. I mean, I, I'm assuming we'll have tickets. J just because that, that's just kind of how global rolls. So, yeah. These banners have, like, crazy, crazy, crazy value for global. That, that's just kind of always how it is for the anniversary banners. Okay. Again, these conversations are just so long. They go on forever. Okay. A, a, a lot of these renders are from the SSR of the LR... Uh, not UI Goku. The Super Saiyan God Goku, the intelligent form. But yeah, I believe that should, this should be it for the stages. I believe so. Yeah. So again, the Tien and Roshi stage plus... Okay, nice. Take it. Uh, Tien and Roshi stage, LR Roshi stage, and then the uh, squ uh, sk bleh, skill orbs stage. Again, just... Uh, grind the units, grind the the training event. It's pretty good. It gives some pretty good equips, I believe. But uh, yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.